A man in Milford was playing Pokemon Go, as so many people are these days, but he ended up in handcuffs. The game took him to the police station. But now Detroit Simon Chowder shows us why he was stopped in his tracks. Fortunately, sometimes they make our job very easy for us. Pokemon Go takes gamers to places they normally may not go. But for one man, avoiding the Milford police station would have been a wise move. But the game led him to this flagpole Thursday morning. He was actually coming here because he knew that the Milford police building uh, is a gym in the game Pokemon Go. William Wilcox was playing the game while riding his bike in his pajamas. He followed the map to the nearest Pokemon gym, which happens to be the police station. The problem is, he's a known criminal and had a warrant out for his arrest. Several police officers recognized him as he made his way to the station. The original charge he had was for uh, breaking and entering, but the warrant was for failure to appear uh, for sentencing. He either forgot that he had the warrant out for his arrest or was just ignoring it, thinking that nothing would happen. The man was arrested arrested on the spot. He didn't pass go. He didn't collect $200. Wait a minute, wrong game. I think he was more upset about having to stop playing the game. Wilcox was arraigned Thursday and has been released. Chief Tom Lindbergh reminds folks playing Pokemon Go. Don't just walk into the police building and start playing the game. Uh, most of those characters will be will appear outside the building. And Wilcox will be back in court within the next two weeks. In Milford, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. All right, thank you, Simon. Two